In this video, I'm going to show you how to write equations of a line in point-slope form. Now it's called point-slope form because in this formula, you know the slope of the equation and you know a point on the line. And most generally, it wouldn't be the y-intercept point, which would be the point in slope-intercept form. And then there's one other formula that would be very important for you to know, and it would be the formula for slope of a line. And so that formula is over here. It's rise over run. And um, we'll be kind of working with these three formulas today. So the first task here says to write an equation in point slope form for a line given, in it, um, given its slope and point that passes through it. So I'm going to use this formula that you see here. x1, y1 is the point that we're going to be given, and m is our slope. So if I plug in what I have here with my formula, a y value of 2, that's going to go here because that's our y value of our point. And then my slope is the letter m, so 2, my slope. And then in parentheses, x minus our x value or x minus negative 4. Now in order to um, simplify this just a little bit, all I would need to do is say that subtracting a negative is the same as adding. Now this is our point slope formula for this point negative 4, 2 and our slope m. And that's it. That's the point slope form. So now if I use this new point, y minus negative 1 equals our slope negative 5 over 3 and then in parentheses x minus negative 3. This is going to also turn into a plus minus a negative and this minus a negative will turn into a plus and that is your point slope formula. So I have another one here y minus negative 5 is equal to our slope of negative 4 and then in parentheses x minus 0. So the only thing I would need to do here, again, simplify minus a negative is the same thing as adding. And then I actually can simplify just a little bit more because if I'm going to take x minus nothing, I could also say that this equation would work as well because I don't need to subtract nothing. So either of those would be perfectly acceptable. Now if you want, pause the video and try these next three and then unpause and double check your work with the solutions. So y minus a y value of 1 is equal to a slope of 0 and then x minus 9. And because our slope is 0 here, this formula is going to change a little bit. 0 times anything is just 0. And then the most simplified version of this would be y is equal to 1 if I add that one over to this side. So this one is actually a horizontal line. And that helpful phrase, hoi vux. Um, hoi, H-O-Y, stands for horizontal lines have zero slope, and they are an equation y equal to a number. And then you're gonna see the phrase vux used over here because vertical lines have undefined slope and their equation is going to be x equals a number. So I'll actually do this problem next. If I have undefined slope, I know my x is going to be equal to a number and that is the equation of my line. Now as I'm looking at my point, I need only the x value of my point which is negative 2 and so this equation would be x is equal to negative 2. Now the last question here y minus a y value of negative 5 will equal my slope, 1 over 8, and then in parentheses, x minus the x value of 6. The last thing I'll do to simplify would just be my minus a negative, I'll turn to a plus.